Well, welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zarathustra, your host, broadcasting from Tulum, Mexico. And the topic of the day is freedom. So quite often people think, and I used to think the same way, like, I want to be free. And I thought freedom means that I have a lot of money. I can travel, go wherever I want to go. I can buy anything I want. I can just do a lot of stuff that you can do if you, for example, you're not married, you don't have children, you don't have pets, you don't have anyone that you're accountable to and uh, you're, you're healthy, you can travel around the world and do whatever you want to do. So it is a form of freedom, but it's not really, and then freedom also is a very relative thing to some people, freedom means something different than what it means to me. But that was my definition of being free that I can just do whatever I want to do. Um, but, but I realized that it doesn't matter, let's say, how much money you have, how much physical freedom you have. Let's say you have five different houses around the world. You can go anywhere you want. There is no pandemic. No one's going to limit you what you can do. Uh, you can sleep with anybody you want. You can drink anything you want. You can eat anything you want. You just have, you can do whatever you desire. But one thing is going to haunt you. And that's going to be your mind. Your mind is going to haunt you because that's where the, the prison is. That you are traveling here, traveling there, doing this, doing that, but then you're worried about disease. What if you get sick? What if you develop cancer? What if something happens to you? You have a lot of money, then you're worried about taxes. How are you gonna hide this? or a lot of people want to make friends with you and you don't know if they really are your reef, real friends or they, they're making friends with you because of your status, because of the money, or you're famous. You got a lot of fame. Now everybody wants to be around you. So what I'm referring to is that being around people that are really paranoid, they're so stuck in their mind, they don't go based on their heart and everything has to be logical, everything has to make sense. And being around these people, every once in a while I realize, oh my God, we live in a complete, completely different world. I keep forgetting that these people do exist and, um, and they're in such a big trap, so miserable that everything is mindy. Everything has to be calculated. Everything has to be black and white. Everything has to be logical. There is no following your heart, following your intuition. There's no room for magic, for the magic of life. Life's got its own magic and it doesn't follow any rules, not human rules. It does its own thing. And to really becoming free completely and trusting life, being able to dive into the presence and operating from this place of not knowing, not that you have to always know everything, operating from a 
from no mind and being free in that and allowing life to come to you, life to unfold things for you, rather than this part of us that thinks that I have to make it happen and I have to do this and I have to do that. Yeah, you do that. That is a part of the, the function of your life. But a lot of the times you just don't know and you don't need to know. So learning how to go beyond the thinking mind that is analytical and processing all the time that you have to know, you have to know, you have to know to this place of freeing yourself, disconnecting from this world of mind that is always afraid. It's always dwells in fear. Is afraid of everything. Is paranoid. And that's a prison. It doesn't matter how much money you have. It doesn't matter what you look like. It doesn't matter your physical abilities are really high or not, or you're very famous or whatever is your idea of freedom. But you're trapped. You're in this pri prison of fear and worry and anxiety of what's going to happen to me. What's going to happen to me? What's going to happen to my children? Are they going to be safe? Are they going to be okay? What's going to happen in the future? Is there a world left for my kids, for myself? Can you come to this place that you're free from all these jealousies? Can you come to this place that you're free of all these self-hate or self-doubt? Because that's a big thing of coming to this place that you accept yourself, you love yourself for the way you are, not what you think you should be. And it's good to strive to get to where you, to get to the next place, but not beat yourself up because you're not there. Can you get to this place that if your partner or someone that you desire is flirting with someone else and you're not ready to, you're, you're not at a place ready to just kill or bust and leave and be acting out of control, out of character. Can you just let go of your money? Can you let go of your positions? If you lose everything, can you let go of your body? Can you die? Are you ready to die today? Are you free of that? You have to question yourself. How are you going to die? Because the maker may call you back home, the boss may call you back home today, today, not tomorrow, not next year, today. Are you ready to go?